वेलकम फ्रेंड्स हाय आई एम नरेंद्र टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व यूपीएससी 2022 प्रीलिम्स क्वेश्चन जीएस वन सीरीज ए पेपर आंसर की एंड सॉल्यूशन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टेक द सॉल्यूशन ऑफ साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी क्वेश्चंस गाइस एंड दिस इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट सब्जेक्ट व्हिच वाज बेस्ड ऑन करंट अफेयर्स एज वेल एज ऑन द ट्रेडिशनल टॉपिक्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व द क्वेश्चंस व्हिच वर आस्क्ड इन यूपीएससी 2022 Let's start. UPSC Civil Services Exam 2022 Subject Wise Bifurcation. Here we can get the bifurcation that in Science and Technology, 12% question were asked. Miscellaneous were 4%. History, Art and Culture were 16%. Economy was 22%. Geography 14%. Environment, Ecology, Agriculture 21%. Okay, and Polity and International Relation 11%. Science and Tech. is 12% which is very uh, important percentage that we should uh, take it seriously so let's start with reference to ayushman bharat digital mission consider the following statements okay see guys ayushman bharat mission we can take uh, this question in science and technology as well as into the schemes as well as okay so number 1 private and public hospitals must adopt it yes private and public hospitals has to take part in this mission okay is is as it aims to achieve universal health coverage yet as it is right every citizen of india should be part of its ultimately every citizens will be covered under this scheme okay it has seamless portability across the country yes across the country it will be implemented that means this this three portions these three statements are right that is why in this question the answer will be 1 2 and 3 okay this three these three statements are right as per the scheme and as per the government government uh, uh, government uh, uh, government uh, bifurcation government uh, uh, statement okay this is three statements are very important okay that is why this all three statements are right consider the following arogya setu covin digilocker diksha which of the above are built on top of open source digital platforms say guys open source digital platforms that means widely it is used for the citizens you all knew that arogya setu widely it was used for citizens covin widely all the citizens were used digilocker it is used widely diksha okay this all are open source digital platform that is why in this question the answer will be 1 2 3 and 4 okay 1 2 3 and 4 web 3.0 it is the third generation internet service okay consider following statements web 3.0 technology enables people to control their own data okay see guys this is the decentralized system this is the decentralized system that is why the people can control their own data web 3.0 world there can be blockchain based yes it is on blockchain based technology blockchain based technology this blockchain based technology that we have studied or we have learned in cryptocurrency as well okay so it is on based blockchain technology that's we, that we can track the transaction or conversations okay on social networks web 3.0 is operated by users collectively rather than a cooperation okay yes users can use it collectively that means these three statements are right okay as per the uh, information the answer will be 1 2 3 see so guys this year in science maximum questions has the answer d 1 2 3 okay maximum question has the answer d 1 2 3 <laughs> with reference to software as services saas consider the following statements this is software as services saas see guys this was the this is the new concept this is on based on licensing okay licensing based that you can modify okay you can uh, <clears throat> modify as per your use okay so saas buyers can customize the user interface and can change data fields so as per your as per your need you can customize okay saas users can access their data through their mobile devices yes it can be accessed by mobile devices outlook 
Hotmail and Yahoo Mail are forms of SaaS. These all are the forms of SaaS. These three statements are right. Okay, that is, that is why the answer will be one, two, and three. Which one of the following statements best reflects the idea behind the fractional orbital bombardment system? Fractional orbital bombardment system. It is from defense part. It is the question of defense, guys. This type of technology was first used by Russia in 1960. Uh, see, uh, in this technology, first of all, you have to uh, you have to stable or establish your missile in any any orbit like Leo. Okay, because the target is the Earth. Okay, the target is the uh, enemies which are residing on the Earth. The target uh, is enemies institutions. Okay, which are residing on the Earth. That is that means. Uh, in normal war, in convectional wars, uh, we are uh, bombarding the missiles from surface to surface, surface to air. Okay, but in this type of system, first of all, you have to settle your missile in a stable orbit. Okay, uh, in a stable orbit, and whenever you will have the need, that time you can bombard it directly from the orbit towards the Earth surface. That means deorbit. You can deorbit that particular satellite. Okay. So a hypersonic missile is launched into space to counter the asteroids. No, it is wrong. Okay. A spacecraft lands on another planet after making several. No, it is wrong. A missile is put into a stable orbit around the earth and deorbits over a target on the earth. It will, it is right. Okay. That means you first, first of all, you have to put the missile in orbit and whenever you will have the need or war that time you can use it. Okay. So in emergency, it can be used. First of all, this was used by Russia. Okay. So in this question, the answer will be C. Which one of the following is the context in which the Q term qubit is mentioned? You all know that it is a very simple question. Qubit means quantum computing. Okay. Zeros and ones. Okay. Zero to one qubits. So it, it works on quantum mechanics. Okay. And I think you have heard the quantum supremacy. Google. Uh, Google has mentioned the first quantum supremacy among the world. This type of news was in current affairs. The qubit is related to quantum computing, which is which is the most faster than uh, the normal supercomputers. Consider the following communications that technology: closed circuit television (CCTV), okay, radio frequency identification uh, (RFID), which is used in fastest wireless local area network (WLAN). These all are short range devices. You all knew that it is, they are short range devices. Okay. That means uh, for our offices, for our homes, we are using the CCTV. It is, it is short range devices. In long range, it will not work. Okay. RFID, whenever the vehicle passes through the toll, okay, that time the, uh, the fast tag will be observed by the RFID technology and the, uh, uh, automatically the money will be detected from the, that particular vehicles, uh, vehicles bank branch. Okay. Wireless locally, we are using everywhere. Okay, they all are short range devices. Okay, so one, two, and three. The answer will be one, two, and three. Cons consider the following statements biofilms can form a medical implants within human tissues, biofilms can form on food and food processing surfaces, biofilms can exhibit antibiotic resistance. Okay, which statement is Correct. Okay. See guys, in this question, what is biofilm? Biofilm, a community of microbes. Biofilm is a community of microbes. We can use an example like a plaque that we can find into the on the teeth surface. To surface, we can find the plaque. Plaque is the community of microbes. Okay, this community of microbes is known as biofilms. Okay. So Bio can form on medical implants within human tissues. Yes, in the, on human tissues, they are present. Okay, like example, Escherichia coli. E. coli is present in our intestine, in our small intestine. Okay, and the group of E. coli is known as biofilms. Okay, it can it can it can make up matrix. It can make a matrix. Okay, on food and food processing surface, it is not happening. That means this will not come. This is wrong. Biofilms can exhibit antibiotic resistance. Yes, they can exhibit. An antibiotic resistance in a group. In a group, if they are in the group, then the antibiotics cannot work on the human body. So they can produce the antibiotic resistance. That means one and three are right. The answer will be C. 
वन एंड थ्री ओके वन एंड थ्री ओनली सेकंड विल सेकंड स्टेटमेंट विल नॉट कम कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स इन रिस्पेक्ट ऑफ प्रोबायोटिक्स प्रोबायोटिक्स आर द ग्रुप्स ऑफ गुड बैक्टीरिया और गुड माइक्रोब्स दे आर इन अवर बॉडी रिसेंटली आई हैव टेल यू दैट दैट इकोला इज प्रेजेंट इन अवर इंटेस्टाइन स्मॉल इंटेस्टाइन इट इज वेरी हेल्पफुल फॉर द म्यूकस इन अवर इंटेस्टाइन इट इज वेरी हेल्पफुल फॉर द म्यूकस ओके इट इज वेरी हेल्पफुल फॉर द डाइजेशन so probiotics are made of both bacteria and yeast yes it is right they are made by bacteria and yeast the organisms in probiotics are found in foods we indigest but they do not naturally occur in our gut okay <coughs> probiotics help in the digestion of milk sugars milk and sugars so pro probiotics are made of both ye aayega this will be the answer a made bacteria and yeast the organisms in probiotics are found in foods we indigest but do not naturally occur in the gut okay the second will not come okay probiotics help in the digestion of milk sugars that means 1 and 3 c will answer c will be the answer okay in this the answer will be c in the context of vaccines manufactured by prevent it is purely based on um, on current affairs uh, this type of news we were we were uh, we were uh, uh, heard frequently uh, in covid time okay the serum institute of india produced a covid 19 vaccine yeah it is right named covid shield mrna messenger rna platform yes it is right one is will come sputnik v vaccine is manufactured using vector based platform yes in this viral vector was used to target the proper antigen that means this will come covaxin is an inactivated pathogen based on vaccine yes inactivate matlab nishkriya okay inactivate pathogens pathogens matlab par jeevi okay all pathogenics uh, all para all parasites are pathogens barabar all parasites are pathogens uh, but all pathogens are not parasites okay so inactive pathogen based vaccine so covaxin is an inactivated pathogen 1 2 and 3 these three are the base, this is the covax this is the current affairs question guys as well as it is science and tech okay if a major solar storm solar flare reaches the earth solar flare surge wala which of the following are the possible effects on the earth gps and navigation systems could fail yes it will come tsunamis could occur at equatorial region no it will not come tsunamis will not come okay tsunamis will not come it is not happening power grids could be damaged yes it will come intense auroras could occur over the much of the sea yes, aurora aurora we have heard in geography aurora borealis aurora australis etc forest fires could take place over much of the planet no it will not come orbits of the satellites could be dis disturbed yes it will come short wave radio communication of the aircraft flying over polar regions could be interrupted yes it will come so answer will be <coughs> answer will be 2 and 5 will not come then answer will be 1 3 4 6 and 7 2 and 5 will not come the answer will be c okay which of the following statements best describes the role of b cells and t cells see guys t cells are t cells if you don't have the uh, information about the b cells but you can find the answer through t cells these t cells are the register are the rog pratikarak bolte hain usko immunization cells hai barabar okay uh, they are the resistance cells okay so in aids if you, if the person has the infection of hiv then t cells are in, infected hiv means it is the viral disease that means it is not the disease it is the disorder okay that means the uh, white wbc will not into the order will be not into the order that means it is a disorder so t cells will be affected through the pathogens okay so they protect the body from the diseases caused by pathogens the answer will be d because they are the रोग प्रतिकारक सेल्स दैट मीन्स इम्यून इम्यूनिटी सेल्स है वो तो उसको इफेक्ट होगा तो वो हमको बचाएंगे तो दे प्रोटेक्ट द बॉडी फ्रॉम द डिसीजेज कॉज बाय दिस विल नॉट कम दिस विल नॉट कम दे प्रोटेक्ट द बॉडी फ्रॉम एनवायरमेंट एलिजेंस नो दे एलिवेट द बॉडी स्पेन इन्फ्लेशन नो इट विल नॉट कम दे एक्ट एज अ इम्यून प्रेजेंस इन द बॉडी नो दिस विल कम दे प्रोटेक्ट द बॉडी फ्रॉम द डिसीजेज कॉज बाय पैथोजन्स वायरस बैक्टेरिया फंगाई pro protozoa this all are the pathogens okay it will protect us b and t cells consider the following statements other than those made by humans nanoparticles do not exist in nature 
this is wrong there are so many nanoparticles are present in the atmosphere okay there are so many that means it will not come naturally there are so many nanoparticles okay that we cannot see with our only eyes nanoparticles of some metallic oxides are used in the manufactures of some cosmetics yes it is right to make some cosmetics it is used in ancient times the queens of misra egypt uh, they were used nanoparticles in their kajal or in makeup okay they were using nanoparticles of some commercial products which enter into the environment are unsafe for humans yeah this will interrupt our respiratory system it will cause the lung diseases so this two will come and the first will not come the answer will be 2 and 3 okay the answer will be 2 and 3 consider the follow statement dna barcoding can be tool as a tool to assess the age of plant and animals no guys to to assess the age of plant and animals there are different different methods we have it is not used okay it is not used because uh, if they are the fossils then we we are using the carbon dating method okay there are so many okay and, uh, and on on the base of trunk layers also we can we can see the age of that particular plant okay and uh, from the horns and their nails we can Uh, we can uh, get the age of that particular animals that means there are so many different different uh, methods to uh, to get the uh, age of plant and animals that means it will not come dna barcoding will not come okay distinguishes among species that look alike yeah it will come distinguishes among the species that look alike it will come identify under undesirable animal and plant materials in processed refuse yes it is also uh, uh, help helpful okay DNA barcoding is used that which type of bacteria pathogens are present in processed refuse. Then two and three will come. First will not come. The answer will be D. Okay. Thank you guys. This is the this is the try this is the best try of ours to give you the solution of these questions. Okay. Most of questions are based on conventional and non-conventional topics. Maximum topics were from the current affairs. That is why in every time we must focus on the current affairs. Thank you. Bye.